it's heartbreaking. When you see a mom who, because of poverty, she doesn't know what else to do because she doesn't have the right skills. She doesn't have a vision for her family, and so she succumbs to using what she has to make an addictive drink called Chang'a, which literally means kill me quick. When I was still growing, my life was horrible, terrible and horrible, because during my brew, there was fights. Uh, I never cooked for my family. Every day, there can be anywhere between 20 to 100 customers, and they take over the house. Once these children are exposed to these alcoholics, anything can happen. And so it is very dangerous for children to be in that type of a family setup. And so they, they feel embarrassed. They don't learn in school because they have gone through trauma. So the children eventually now begin to drink also, and it causes another cycle of problems. These women, between 50 and 100, they come for one week training. And in this one week training, they cover a number of skills, like chicken management, cow management, kitchen gardening, business, and uh, spiritual development, and bread making. When I came to Queen Center, I was really trained on how to manage a farm, on how to do cookery. The things I, I do here was the one blessed from God. That's in the scripture that blessed is the work of your hands. These women start now finding hope in Christ and they restore the dignity in Christ and that helps them build up towards what they want to do out in their own lives. And we don't stop there. A month or two later we say, okay, let's come and see what you've done. Because of the transformation that has taken place in these communities, there was much impact in three schools where 500 new children reported in school. That's because of women living, brewing, and doing other good activities. We have tons of people who can do positive things. You just give them alternative ways, and through God's grace, you can get there. I am proud of the Lord because He had a plan that one day, one time, I will come to Quail Training Center, and this is where my life will come to change.